and what is going on YouTube and welcome to another FIFA 17 player review where we take an in-depth look at the Hungarian legend Christo Stoichkov. Now you guys, you can see here I did play him in a couple different formations, the 4-3-2-1 and a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, but both uh, variations I did play him at striker in the other I did play him with the lone over Mars for a couple games now if you guys have been enjoying the reviews please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you are new so let's go ahead and take a look at his overall record for me at the price of 680,000 coins on the Xbox Stoichkov scored me five goals in six games with zero assists. Now I did apply the Hunter Kemp style to him to increase his pace and shooting, and I was actually able to sell him off in the end for 760,000 coins on Xbox to make a nice tidy profit. So let's go ahead and jump into his in-game stats. So alright, he's got 91 positioning, 89 finishing, 89 shot power, 92 volleys, 88 ball control, 88 dribbling, 83 agility, selfish flair, technical drib dribbler traits, as well as the clinical finisher and complete forward specialities. Paired with those medium medium work rates, he's got 4 star skills and a 4 star weak foot. Alright guys, Stoichka's first incredible ability is his shooting now my stats don't quite show it here but man was he an incredible shooter I may have hit the post a half dozen times with Stoichkov uh, and frankly it was just one of those days where you were a half inch off every shot now besides having incredible shooting accuracy he also has the power to go with it now if you guys get the shot off on his stronger left foot you are definitely looking at troubling the keeper with any kind of shot now, I was able to tell that he definitely does have a three-star weak foot, and it is a true weak foot. Now, I wouldn't say avoid it, but don't expect to score any crazy goals. Now, his second incredible stat for me was his ball control. Now, he has the four-star skills, 88 ball control, 88 dribbling. I can't imagine much better than those stats. Stoichkov is super smooth on the ball and moves incredibly with the ball at his feet. Now, only con with him it was his agility. Now, when you're using those skills, he comes out of the skills quite a bit slower than you would want, so that got kind of annoying for someone with his price tag. Now, it doesn't show in the record, but Soishkov's passing was really great, despite not having any assists for me over the games. One thing I wish I would have done when I had him was use him at the center forward or cam, playing behind two pacier players, as I think that would play more directly to his strengths. Now, another great feature of Soishkov is his strength. Now, he has 82 physical, and he is able to hold off most defenders from the ball. Actually, he's somewhat like a little bit of a a bulldog holding holding players off on the ball. Now, for the cons for Stoichkov, the first for me, at least even with the Hunter Kemp style, would be his pace. He felt quite sluggish for me, and in a two different formations struggled to break away from any defenders. Now, if I had to make a comparison to another player pace-wise, it probably would be, would be Lukaku. Now, he's not Lukaku, he just felt similar pace-wise. Um, the second would be his movement. With medium medium work rates, I thought I could dodge this with the right instructions applied to him, but he just would not make any runs, guys, and I really had to hold up the ball for a long time to make him, to wait for him to make the right movement. Now, having paid 680,000 coins on the Xbox, would I say he's worth it? For me, no. Um, and I would say there's just so many other legend strikers and honestly better regular gold strikers than there are in comparison to him. I mean, if you have some sort of passion for the Hungarian and it's the nostalgia, he is quite fun to use in that aspect, but in terms of gameplay expectations, I think there are better legends available. So that brings us to a close for our review, guys. If you have any players you would like for me to review, please leave a comment down below and I will start to make my way through them. Thanks for stopping by, and if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, because what else you gonna do? 
check you guys later.